Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World 4. Where we're going to do some kind of, That's probably not a fourth, but these are the people, the creators which I have watched that have done something with Train Sim World or Train Sim Letter. And it doesn't just, and this is not just dedicated to the ambassadors before saying that. And I'm not just, and also the employees of the film. Just to also add those in because I do watch two of those. You can probably guess which one those two are. And but at the same time, this doesn't include the the actual main official dovetail pages on YouTube and Twitch. Pretty much, this is not in any order from best to worst. And at the same time, like once again, I'm not an ambassador, and I don't work for Dovetail. Well, pardon me, I can get the two, two that do work for Dovetail out done first. Obviously, and this is obviously Matt's channel, so Matt Pedalston on Twitch, which is what is on Twitch, or Matt T Plays TV on YouTube. He's obviously a person who works for Dovetail. And I'm going to stay with the good, like, good side of things that he just loves to play the game. He says he doesn't get free time to play it. He works too much. But obviously the con for that is that he hasn't done anything recently on his own channels. And that includes his YouTube because it was about over, it's been about over two years since he's actually looked gone to upload any of his live streams onto YouTube. So yeah. And then the next one is obviously More Man, which I think might 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 be his full name might be James or something. I think he's got three YouTube channels to be fair. One one's probably called James as well, I think. It is but he doesn't that's now a bit of a dead one now, I think, for a YouTube channel. But obviously, Mole Man nine seven eight is the full name, both YouTube and Twitch. And obviously, like I said, he works with Dovetail. When it comes to this old content, he's funny, like Matt. <laughs> sometimes, once again, go back to Matt. Even though it, people nickname him the Professor, he still gets things wrong. He works with Dovetail, he still gets things wrong, and he, fair enough, he blames the chat a lot, which, to be fairness, most online people will do anyway, when they're live, because I probably would. And obviously he did Ned Dwarf and put fish fans into the water. I'm trying some classic. And obviously more man works for Dovetail, he does the, the screenshots you, you do see on the road maps and so forth. He, he's the one that does those. And well, good things is he's funny as all hell, not quite often. And yeah, he obviously knows the British side of things, the German and American signal, at least all over the place. But Fair enough, his video has gone up and down over the years because he's he went off YouTube, came back, went off a little bit, then came back again. And now he's in on, on and off sort of style. So, yeah. And now we're going to move on to the first ambassador, which is Sims and, Sims and Stuff, which is a person, isn't that the actual person that does it? Steve, I think. I want it to go and bust the what the heck that was then. So, obviously, he's an amb ambas dovetail ambassador. So, and he mostly does live things on Twitch. But he does do have YouTube as well, so he does stick something on YouTube, but he's mostly a Twitch side, I think. So, that's probably a, but I'm not going to say be raw for negative on that. But 
obviously playing Twitch on this I never know what he's doing <laughs> but because he just goes he doesn't say what he's playing as a notification anymore that's a Twitch thing not him that's like I said Twitch I think YouTube's a lot more clear on that state So, and he's, to be fair, he is funny. He does some silly things, but they're funny. <laughs> to be fair, unless they can be. And he's, to be fair, that's probably one of the actual genuine people out of all the ambassadors, which you can actually go, what, see, and actually go, everything he's doing is literally, when it's a new route, new loco, it is literally the first time he's actually seeing them because he's not he's deliberately not play doesn't play them until that point. That, so that would be his genuine 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 first looks. Fair enough he does the videos of the tutorials now, but as well on top of that, but that's the only thing he does chuck touches in a video. Everything else is live streamed. So everyone learns on the road pretty much. So, and moving on to Colonel Fahler, which is Sam, and if you didn't know about that, the form, a former Dovetail employee. So I don't know if he if he might get the roots and stuff like the Ambassadors does still or not, but I don't know. Unless he has become an Ambassador, I don't know. And he's a bit, he's a bonkers, as you may, if you remember him from doing, who did the live streams. He is absolute bonkers. Once that goes, the, the um that like spawner train in free mode is his is to be honest his cup of tea. Because <laughs> he would just do whatever. He's someone that would do that. Like Sims and stuff. Would. So and he's on and off from what I do watch nowadays because I've because I've to be honest I found Colonel Failure for I uh, do looking at Transport Fever I mean Train Fever when that was a thing then Transport Fever one and Transport Fever two and obviously at the moment he has taken a break from doing content for that it's a bit of a bit unfortunate but there once again these are not at anyone. Or digging on anyone, or saying don't watch these people work type of thing. In some respects, I'm promoting them if you've never heard of them. So, <clears throat> moving on to the British Ace, which, in my opinion, since he's become an ambassador, his videos have gone down uh, down a little bit. I'd have said. In quality, in some respects, because to be honest, I'm going to say this: on if you look at his videos before he got made an ambassador, to the videos that he does now, he's a bit more of up sort of thing. Not look, but look, doesn't he look, make you know, the videos not like he's looking down on people now more than anything else? But like I said, this is nothing against. Um, Joe, I think it is, his name is. So, yeah. Um, I think out of all the tiers, the people that did, did does train sim world, not including like Matt and so type of thing, might be one of the first ones that I found for TSW2 or something it might have been. So, sort of that, so, since TSW2 is very sort of thing, I have some just about all these people I have subscribed to. <laughs> so I have my sub, I have sub to. And that's, that's a small bit of a thing on them. But like Matt Mull, obviously British Ace, in the southern person. That's a noisy 187 going by. I hope they do that sound. 
something from the bugs aren't good. But, um, so he's that. So, obviously, before, like I, like I will be, like I prefer third rail stuff. I'm still annoyed that that has not been really a single release for any over a year by this point of a, of anything for, for the southern region. So, yeah, on to that one. The next one is Mega Sim, which I found after the Burchase, which is also uh, obviously an ambassador. Both and obviously this is either just YouTube, like all all of them from Colonel Colonel Fair Burchase and Mega Sim all YouTube. To be fairness, most of these are now just YouTube. But so uh, Mega Sim, he's now also got another channel for Train Sim World, not the game real life and so oh city skylines on remasters that's nice yeah i'm reinstalling that since it's since cities 2 has been delayed on console so as i'm mega sim obviously mega sim used to do a load of videos he goes and go and do the odd occasional live stream which is now to be honest, fell out of fall, slightly fallen off a cliff. But I think he mostly does a lot of work, so he probably doesn't get much free time anymore because of that reason. And on to one which, to be fairness, does videos like me, mute, most of the time, apart from these random videos. And that is Train Simulator Gameplay, which is the name on YouTube, just to point out. So, for that one, I don't, you don't know too much about this person, this one. And, so, it's a person who does, like I said, mute things like I do, but they mostly focus on the scenarios, which I so hate, because they're so boring out of my head. They are nowadays. Hello, all my head on support as well. So, uh, so, yeah, right, go back to it. They... To, he does just as snows. He may do the odd one here and there for services because I have seen that on the. So, but I think in the, I'm not coming about what sort of how many views he gets, but it's probably about the same amount. Not that many. He probably gets a lot more because he has been going for a little bit longer than what I have been doing for Train Sim Worldwide, and I think he only does TSW for TSW, not Train Sim itself. Unless he has done Train Sim Classic in the past. I don't know if he's an ambassador or not. If it's an ambassador channel. Not. Don't even know if he or she would be fair. So, yeah. <laughs> so don't come at me any camps on that one. Then moving on to Lazy. Train. I've watched the odd occasion. Not much. But I know he does a lot of Train Sim Classic racing side of things. Which can be quite hilarious. And other things in the real life as well. And to be fair, it can be bonkers as well from what I've seen as well. Especially when it comes to some thing they did for Dovetail at one point. With a little common, but it wasn't there. A long, um, great, on, um, the Riviera in the 50s. Or some, so yeah, can't say too much to be fair, but I do have watched his videos. This is probably the one I'm going to mispronounce slightly. So, this is the train spotter from Paduga, which does mostly reviews nowadays of the DLCs which are out, and mostly just looks at it from. The negative side, I'm gonna to have to admit more than the light side. Mm, fair enough, my local route, the art for one for the for, like local route, which you can probably guess what it is, which is on line. He likes so this is one that's a little bit hard. And got but he to be honest will look at all of the detail which you don't see over that side 
um, fair enough for the container side of things. You will look at, and I have, I do spot the missing container port bits as well. And he does come out and say that moan at the uh, them enlarging them. They're on all routes, so in theory, they should be enlarged on this. But you don't see the cross beams of it at all. And he, and he, and I think he's, he does a lot. He's Australian, so if an Australian route, he'd be probably praising that like no one's business. So it will be a little bit biased at the same time. So I think he does the videos every day, I think, at least one video a day. But he does real life things as well. And he doesn't just do trains in the world, he does do trains in classic as well. And at the same time, does videos mocking um, AP sometimes as well, not just dovetail and river. Uh, and I mean, it's quite bad that he moans at river for. And he moans at people that say, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it. <laughs> so, and he moans at them for that. So it's a. Not it's a lose lose situation, whatever you have as a commenter, and unless you agree with them. On to the next one, which is another worse than around that sort of area. The train guy for which also moans, moans, and moans once again, and also. I'm not one for for the console or console versus PC wars. He's one of those people because he's directly blaming us on console for TSW 4s so release, and he's moaning at that for no idea why, because he has the editor on PC, but console doesn't. Get it? So why is he moaning? So, yeah, that is, to be honest, the honest truth into that one. He mostly does, like, he does a live stream at least once, or twi two live streams at least twice a week. I've noticed he's starting doing the editor ones, which I don't watch. And then he does a video, a live stream for just a general play. But he mostly goes, like, rush, 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 rush around sort of style so he'll pick the shortest services possible the moan that the shortest sort of services are possible so yeah and that, that once again said once again going back to the fashion he hates console people obviously he comes at and also says that with us on console are not trained fans and yes that is me having a rant so I'm moving on to Squirrel, which I can't remember the last sprint, how long ago it has been since he's done a, anything for Tip Train Sim or Train Sim World. But he's one of the ones which does move, go up a little bit from being quite new to the genre up to quite, to at least knowing what he's doing sort of job. <laughs> and mostly is does a lot of live streaming, he does a lot of and YouTube, most more Twitch side of things now. The only thing I don't like is that you can't watch playback unless you're you pay him, which in some respects is a bit silly. When you can watch him for free, then you can't finish the video for free free if you've walked off. So yeah, that's the negative side of things. And on Disperse Rail, which is just YouTube person. But he does mostly videos. He's also he's a console player as well. I think he plays on the PlayStation Five, like I do. So yeah, and I'm not going to be against him being a Spurs fan. So yeah, well I'm obviously a Saints fan. There's two different teams completely there, despite we make the Spurs and Nick Saints chant. But hey ho. He will do live streams here and there. He did moan slightly, um, 
to be honest, quite rightly so, so in this regard, a little bit of a panic sort of thing when Dovetail got bought by a company wondering what the heck's gone on and thinking that all oh, a lot of Dovetail employees were about to get sacked. And Matt wasn't one of them, just to point that one out. That he thought it was because he didn't find him on the page anywhere. And then moving on to PTG, PTG Rail, which is now a bit of time, but over a year, about a year, just over a year since his last video. But he does work, so he doesn't get time, and he mostly does videos on route guys. And he does do a little bit of setup, sort of guides mixed in, and also. Mm, just in general, look at the route. He hasn't done any of those for TSW yet, but, he, but I say he hasn't done any TSW, but he does, has done them in Brighton on Trains and Classic. That was done before anything like that got released. So, yeah. I don't know what he does, actually, to be fair. He does a lot, like I said, route guides, he does signaling guides as well. So he, to be honest, that it was for him how I learned how to use the German safety systems. It wasn't by Matt doing a PowerPoint. So, yeah. So he's handy as well. If you don't know any of the signaling systems, it's only British and German he's done. Go and watch his videos. And at the same time, if you want to try and learn, learn Roots Hudless, he's one of the best ones. He, he, can go and, uh, he is a good person to go and watch. As well, to be completely honest. The next one is Grant. Grant T. Or Grant. Depending on what you want to say. Just, it once again, he's just a YouTuber. That mostly, a load of dynamic, uh, who mostly situations now with, um, doing videos for, um, well, right in par. Did do cities, guidelines, trains, transport fever, and he has done obviously some videos for this and other games as well. Uh, the negative side means he's not touched train sim well for a little bit of time, or train sim classic now for a little bit. So he's all over the place sometimes. But otherwise, he does do. Quite decent when it comes to video side of things. And moving on to Train Simulator Driver, who is an ambassador. Once it does, does do YouTube, but he does do live streams. He also does do testing of the games, testing of the routes, and so forth. So he does do a lot of testing as well. For it, so he do does that as well. So he does see a lot more of the game than perhaps the other ambassadors might. No, he's currently on away, so he's not doing any videos, but he does do other games as well. The odd game of um, other things like the Rail Valley, I think it is. And obviously, like he's kind of holiday, so he's not really doing videos for, it, for a little bit. And moving on to the last one, probably this the most unexpected one now for this list is Nerd Cube. When he was in his form hay sort of run, he did hit train sim a couple of times. He did train sim well for two once, I think. And if I remember rightly, he got to the point of fed up getting this top four three rows in a row. But I think we all did. When that happened. He is literally funny. As all heck. He's probably the more out there style than more man. In some respects. He'll but he'll do any game, every other game on the network sort of style. And he mostly does live streams nowadays, I think. With your 
video here and there, but I think he's mostly quit doing YouTube side of things now. Because I think he was saying his it was because of his mental health side, like more than I had. So, yeah. So, like I said, this was not a video to dig at anyone. So, don't come at me in the comments. These are all my opinions. Don't come at me in the comments. And I'm not doing this just to give views. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here then, guys. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to quickly go around some collectibles. My light is on for some strange reason. I'm so I'm gonna so I'm gonna leave it here then guys so don't get like comment and subscribe for more train sim uh, content. I just say that now because I can't be bothered to put the number four on the end. Fair enough, I just did. Once again, don't forget like, comment and subscribe. What can I do? No. Um no, can't go that way. Back up here. I'll see this is where the start point we want. So yeah. So I'm gonna leave it here then guys, so don't forget to like, go on and subscribe. There is some coming, but I ain't waiting for because it's all up there. So, so I will see you then guys. So don't like and, and subscribe. Hope you all have an awesome day. And goodbye.